Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Dead Island. Oh, fucking A, I did that again. Dying light. Alright. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is just grab all this useless shit. Oh, full inventory? Okay. We're on the second floor of the tower. I call it the second floor. I don't know what floor it really is. 19. <laughs> that was convenient. Sell all this crap. Ooh. Sell that one. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Keep the throwing stars, because I've had a change of heart. Yeah. Don't expect that to come much often. <laughs> yeah, those, um... We'll get into the throwing stars later. They're pretty cool, actually. I've been messing around with them a bit in uh, multiplayer and stuff. And they're actually pretty good. But I just want to sell all this crap right now. Uh, yeah, take all the flares. Why not? We're going to need them. Uh, you want firecrackers, uh, absolutely firecrackers. That's pretty much all you need for this next mission. Just firecrackers. Fuck all that other stuff. Believe me. Plain hammer, pipe, floor plate, blah, blah, blah. Boom. Now we're really rich. Let's buy a good weapon. It does 57. Ooh, that's broken. Sell that shit. And that does 60. <laughs> Funny enough. I'm keeping that. No, fuck that. We're not even buying a weapon yet. Uh, if you do have a lot of money like I do, right here. Look at that. Almost 8 grand. And a baseball bat. It's like, what? Almost 3 grand? I recommend buying it. It's up to you, totally. But uh, I just like baseball bats. I think they're pretty good. Anyway, uh, this mission... Uh, pretty much what we have to do is uh, go out, look for airdrops, all that stuff. Whoops, forgot to turn off music. Funny enough, when you turn off the music, it turns off this, uh, this like in-between mission blah 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 shit that Crane reads off. That turns off too. For some reason it goes along with the music. I guess it's just how they scripted it. Anyway, um... Something you really want to have on you is Molotovs, Firecrackers, and Medkits. You're going to need all those. Molotovs for killing people. <clears throat> it's a fair trade-off because we're going to be getting grenades for those Molotovs. I'll explain that in a bit, but let's just try and get this done as fast as possible. Because I'm... <laughs> I put... I, this is like, what, the ninth video? And <laughs> I'm only 2% through the campaign. Forget all the side quests and stuff I'm going to do. I'm only 2% through the main campaign. So we got to get a move on. Just try and keep up. <laughs> Alright, so once again, we're headed over to the cauldron. And in the cauldron, right here. Oh, wait. Wait for the texture to load. It's not loaded on my screen. There we go. Look for these two buildings that are touching like that. They make like a Tetris block. Put a waypoint right there. Cause there's a chest there. And if you jump on enemies, wee! <laughs> it makes me laugh, that's what happens. No other reason. It's just funny as shit. I think uh jumping oh shit. Keep thinking I have vault. What level are we? Okay, we get that next time. <laughs> See you. Three quarters of all airdrops fall in the cauldron. So if you start from there, you have the best chance of getting to that drop before Ryan is meant to. Get over the edge, damn it! <laughs> oh. I'm a sick bastard. I love that shit. No, climb up there, Crane. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? See, if I had Tic Tac, I'd already be up there. Up here. Gotcha. Jump on a car. There we go. Well, it looks like there's a trap down there. We don't. Oh. I hear virals for some reason, that's fucking weird. Uh, 
shit. Back up, back up. I'm on a ledge and I can't move. That's weird. Get up. <laughs> I got stuck there for a second. Ooh, dumpster. Yeah, like I said, dumpsters are the same thing. You can land in and you'll be alright. Oh. Huh, thanks for the metal parts, bitch. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. Off you go. <laughs> Peace. And there's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. No, no, no. Get on the roof. Here we go. Right here. Hold on. Get off my roof, bitch. That's a lot of rebar. Anyway, look at the map right here. Right where the airdrop is. Two buildings touching each other. I found orange weapons in here twice. That's totally luck, though. Definitely. But you do find blue weapons and other. Ooh, look at that. Jewel box. That's nice. Let me take that waypoint off. Alright, so the airdrop we want is right up there. You can see the parachute. Climb up here. I'm going to try and make this mission all in one video. After this, we will have the night cycle. Come on, you can't grab that ledge right there. The fucking parkour ninja. But some, of the st some of the stuff in this game just doesn't make sense to me. Oh, I hope we get vault before the night mission comes. Because that's going to be incredibly useful. It looks like we might... Oh, hold on. Let's drop down. There we go. Alright, Crane. Cross your fingers. Damn it. Nothing here. Two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're <clears> not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. Yeah. I'll try. Huh. Oh shit. Fucking hell. Hope I don't end up like this poor bastard. Yeah. There's usually a battle journal under that. Uh, it's a collectible. Hold up. I see that. There's no time limit on this whatsoever, so just take your time. Either way, no matter if you get there quick or not, there's going to be people there, and you got to fight them for it. Which is why I made some Molotovs. At least I think I made some. I don't remember. Because people don't like fire. What's that? Ooh. I do not have Molotovs. Okay. There's three. That should be plenty. Let's equip them right now. And the reason we're going to be fighting these guys is because uh, you can get some valuable stuff out of that... Uh, out of their airdrop, some stuff that you would otherwise not be able to craft until later in the game. It's pretty cool. Oh, what up? You got... you need help? Come here, dude. I'm helping you. Has that helped out enough? You good? Now give me some cash. Get up. Get up off the floor, pussy. Come on. Yeah, thanks. Fuck off. <laughs> You're welcome, asshole. <laughs> Let's get to the airdrop. Oh, I hear a goon behind me. I want to say thug. It's because they remind me so much. 
once again, we're gonna... Alright, so right here, that's where they are. Look for the UV light. That's where the little people are. Shit. Stand up up here, stand up right there. Buff to you. Nope. Fight them. Oh, fuck you, man. Burn, bitches, burn. Oops, I didn't even hit him. That's why shock weapons are also good, because they stun him for a long time, and you can just beat the shit out of him. I hit grapple, come on. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, and these guys are... They're really easy. Ooh. Thanks for the wrench, bitch. As long as you got some Molotovs and some decent weapons, you'll be alright. And always, 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 always pick up their weapons. Because they usually got some better shit than you do. Look at that. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> DIY grenades. Do-it-yourself grenades. We can craft these later. But right now, we can't. Not for a while. And then, uh, conducting fluid. We're just gonna sell that shit. Or not. I can't remember. I know there's a really good use for it, but I don't want to use it. Alright, we're about 12 minutes in. I'm just gonna make this all one video. Fuck it. Let's see if we can get our agility up to four. Oh, we're definitely gonna get there. Especially if we do, like, little shit. Fuck off! <laughs> Oops. Alright, so the next airdrop is here in the slums. It's in a kind of precarious place, really. Jin, I'm almost there. I can do this. <laughs> Thanks for the money. Ooh. Aerosol. That's good. For grenades, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Thought so. <laughs> See you guys later, motherfucker. Alright. <laughs> Enough joking around. This is where we're supposed to go, right? There. Like around there. Yeah, I thought so. Let me get Vault already, for Christ's sake. Dropkick is also very good, but this is much, much more useful. It's one of the mistakes I've seen a lot of people who make these walkthroughs do. They make a, they get dropkick first because they're like, oh, that sounds awesome. You know, Vault is much more useful, and it levels you up a lot quicker. And this is how it works. You run, hit the free run button, you jump right over them. And eventually we'll get a skill where it stuns them when you do that. Anyway. There's a drop right down there. Like I said, right here on the map. Right there. I just gotta kill some people. Whee! I'm gonna heal up because I know what's coming. Come on, Crane. Come on, man. Whenever you're close to one, just start kicking them, man. It'll interrupt a lot of that shit. You know, like getting gnawed on and stuff. Alright, let's pop this bitch open.
Crane here. I'm about to recover an Antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing Antizen, destroy it. What? Wh wh why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Oh, man. I actually like the story in this game. It's pretty good if you think about it. <laughs> Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no Antis in here. Gun? Fuck! Fuck! Alright. Get back here and be careful. The nightmares are awake. Don't let them see. Oh shit. They must have heard me. I hope you guys have firecrackers. Because you're gonna need them right now. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Firecrackers. Turn your flashlight on and run north immediately. Climb. Climb a lot. And throw firecrackers again. Throw them at the volatiles. Those are the scary ones with the vision radar. Keep throwing them. You got eight of them, so just do it. Keep running north. Keep running north. Keep going. Just don't stop moving. I'm pretty sure everyone here is scripted to run straight after you. All you want to do is just use firecrackers whenever they see you and you're good. This part is uh, heavily scripted. Like, uh, they're they're not nearly as bad at night and they're not nearly as hard to escape I got 320 points there that's pretty high but um usually they're not that hard to escape and uh, usually if they do see you and you are that close they're gonna fucking hurt you man you gotta be really careful with those uh, nighttime encounters but you know we'll get into all that later let's just complete this mission so we can get the day night cycle going I still have to turn off the music, I'm sorry. Uh, I would turn it back on, but uh, <laughs> with my channel being as small as it is, I've had so many copyright claims just because of stupid background music, man. That's fucking ridiculous. Don't do that shit. Congrats, you survived the night. Too bad that run didn't work out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you guys notice there, the subtitles are definitely different from what he actually said. Alfie's looking for you. He's in his workshop downstairs. Hmm. Yeah, I like Alfie. He's got a he's a cool voice actor, I think. Reckon, come on. I mean, we need Anthony. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. We didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... go. Are you serious? Well, this Rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? <laughs> you guys give Crane and me the room, please. Yeah, get out, newbies. He gave me the thumbs up. That's funny. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not going to argue. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. Got it, homie. 
I like the story in this game, man. I've said that already, but it's pretty good. Uh, especially considering uh, Techland's track record, uh, Dead Island, <laughs> this story was pretty much non-existent. And the voice actors were fucking horrible. Borderline racist, honestly. Anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna get... Well, actually, I already got that. <laughs> I'm glad I got that. Those are very useful. Anyway, we we need we want to get a crafting expertise. Let's make it so we make five lock picks instead of three, you know, two med kits instead of one, all that shit. We craft more. If you hit X, it says it right there. Using blueprints generates more items from same materials. Example: five throwing stars instead of three. Yeah, pretty good. What's the same? Doesn't work with weapon blueprints. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be a little broken if it did. All right, let's just uh, check the shop since we leveled up. Mm. Mm. No, no, we're good for now. Anyway, well, let's just head downstairs for now.